right, PK, opening night, highly anticipated debut of yep. Connor Bedard. Uh, what do we need to know about this potential superstar? Well, first of all, let's go back to Junior. He completely annihilated Junior. This player, he can't go back to Junior. He's not going back to Junior. And he did it at the international level as well. World Junior scoring big goals. But what he's done in preseason so far is exactly why fans got to pay the price of admission to watch him this season because I can't wait. His ability, his strength on the puck, his lower body strength, emulates Crosby, his ability to make defenders miss, and then his situational awareness to make the right plays at the right time. And you know what? At 18 years old, the issue that players usually have is their they're young, they're not strong, they don't have the experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This kid has the strength to create time and space for his own shot in his own lane. Usually 18-year-olds are relying on their teammates to open up mm -hmm. the ice for him. He can create that himself. Go ahead, Shannon. PK, we, we hear a lot about these, these hockey prodigies. How good can this kid be? Is he Crosby? Is he McDavid? Is he Gretzky? Is he Lemieux? How good can this kid be? So, so when it comes to Connor Bedard, when I look at his game, and a lot of these young players, they come in and they have a lot of the same similarities, mm -hmm. high-end skill and talent. But what separates Connor Bedard from most of the 18-year-olds that I've seen and anybody coming in this year is his strength and his edge work and his balance. Sidney Crosby's probably the best player in our generation, but he was definitely the best player in our generation when it came to being strong on the mm -hmm. puck and his strength immediately when he came into the game. He's still 18. He's got a lot of growing to do, but this kid doesn't eat McDonald's. He ain't out partying. He's in the gym. He's played, you know, he's taking care of himself, right. preparing himself for professional sports. I'd be remiss in neglecting to bring up this dude, McDavid, that Ch Shannon just brought up, Connor McDavid. You talk about hard trophies. That's league MVP for those of y'all that don't know anything about hockey because yep. even they does that hockey from time to time. I do that hockey. But Mario <laughs> Lemieux, I'm talking about Mario Lemieux, Alex Ovechkin, Bobby Orr. This dude has three league MVPs. Yep. Speak about him for a second. Well, it's great. Let's, let's start here, okay? 153 points last year. He's 50 points from 900. He's 150 points away from 1,000 points. He's entering his ninth season in the NHL. If he hits 150 points this year, he starts. He enters the conversation of Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, and Gordy Howe. So I can go on and on. We can take the whole show, and I can go on and on about Connor McDavid. But now is the time for him, team-wise, mm -hmm. To, to, to get over the hump. Individually, this guy is everything that everybody says about him. We've never seen a player play at the speed and tempo that he has ever in the game. Like, there's no one even close. So, Connor McDavid, yes, he is the Patrick Mahomes of the, of the NHL. No doubt about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.